So what happens if a house doesn't appraise? Okay, there's a couple things that happen and I'm gonna walk you through what the options are. Hi guys, how you doing? I am Sasha Chapman here with Chapman Realty Group and I'm gonna walk you through what do you do if a house doesn't appraise. All right, number one, first things first, let's go first. You need to be making an offer that will appraise. Okay, don't get so desperate in wanting a home that you're gonna go over the um, list price so much that the home doesn't appraise. There are times you need to go over the list price, but you need to understand what that is. If every home, let's give you an example, if every home in the, in the area is selling for $180,000, all right, and that house is listed at 175 and it's comparable in terms of size. If it's comparable in terms of the amenities in it, yes, that house can go over list price and you don't have to worry about it appraising. Now, on the flip side, let's say that house is only, let's look at like 180 again. If it's $180,000 and um, everything else in the market is only selling for $170,000, if there are no comps to support it, if the land isn't big enough or there is not enough improvements in that home, it can be very tricky if that home is going to appraise. You have no control over the appraisal. Neither do I, neither does a lender. The appraiser is the only one who's going to look at that home. So sometimes it's hard to get them changed. So you want to make an offer that will appraise. You need to be protected. So what happens if the house doesn't appraise? Number one thing can happen, the seller drops the price. Now that's a hard thing to do if you are the seller and you are kind of fixated that, oh, I got to offer it, let's say, once again, $180,000, my house is at really one seventy. dollars or they got an extra 10000 So that's where it comes down. You can drop the price. Number two, the uh, buyer has to make up the money, has to bring another $10,000 in that scenario. You got 10 on it? You got 10 k on it? Because if you got it, cool. But if you don't, not so cool. All right. The last thing is that you meet, you guys meet in the middle. If you don't meet in the middle, figure it out. Something's not going to work. The lender is not going to support that home if it doesn't appraise. It's just not going to happen. So if those three things doesn't happen, the deal can be off. So how do you avoid that? Make sure you make a smart offer that is going to appraise. And your agent should be using, in Texas, what we call the appraisal addendum. That will protect you or so the third party finance addendum, depending on what we're talking about. If you're doing conventional loans, you need the appraisal addendum, right? Okay, guys, I'm Sasha Chapman. If you have any questions about your home appraising, give me a call, 817-668-0311. Talk to you guys later. Bye.